Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Why don't we just throw something kind of light out there, like, you know, what is the waiting time problem in evolutionary biology? Sure. Well, the waiting time problem was first discovered by Dr. Michael Behe at Lehigh University um, in his book, The Edge of Evolution, where he basically tried to calculate you know, the waiting time, how long it would take for two-step coordinated mutation to occur in humans. And he basically used this, um, he, he actually calculated this based upon malarial empirical data, based upon the malarial parasite. And according to him, it would take approximately 10 to the 15 years um, to get a two-step um, coordinated uh, change. Um, in 2008, in the journal of Genetics, um, Jordan Schmidt, who were two mathematicians, published a paper where they sought to challenge Michael Behe's assessment. And they said, guys, don't worry, you, you can do it in far less than 10 to 50 million years. Uh, in humans, you, could, you, you, you would only need 216 million years for this two-step coordinated change to occur. Now, given that in uh, the human chimp divergence, according to the conventional evolutionary story, occurred about six million years ago, that's uh, a, a bit of a problem. Yeah. Uh, um, Behe, of course, responded to that, showing that there, there's some simplifications in their math, and actually the, the time it would take is actually far larger than that. But to take an example, if you look at the fossil record, um, the fossil record is very good at documenting the time that you have, the window of time that you have to traverse the A to B transition. So for example, one of the, one of the uh, flagship examples of evolutionary change is the evolution of the whale from terrestrial land-dwelling mammals. And the whale is supposed to have evolved from a terrestrial mammal called Pachycetus, um, and the next in the series is called uh, Endohyus ambulocetus, which is a walking whale, Protocetus, all the way down to Dorodon and Basilosaurus. If you take the fossil record seriously, that occurs in the space of only a few million years, four or five million years. Um, and um, Richard, uh, what, what would you need to, to accomplish that transition of form? Well, you need a special lung surfactant because when whales dive and come back to the surface, the lung has to re expand and do so very quickly. Hmm. You need a uh, reorganization of the kidney tissue because you have to intake salt water. You need to um, um, modify the mammary glands for nursing young underwater. You have to reorientate the fetus for giving birth underwater. You need to have substantial reduction of the hind limbs. The forelimbs have to be transformed into flippers. You need um, to um, have a, a, an intra-abdominal kind of current heat exchange system because in whales, the testes are actually inside the body. And what happens in mammals, if the testes fail to descend and they're not cooled, you get sterility, which obviously is an evolutionary dead end. And so you have to actively cool down the gland, which is done in a manner akin to a modern refrigeration system by shunning cooled blood from the tail flukes to a nexus of arteries and veins that dissipates the heat from the gland so that the testes remain below core body temperature. Now, if you make an outrageously generous assumption that only two mutations are necessary to accomplish that innovation, um, where, you, where you get the testes inside the body and then get this elaborate kind of current heat exchange system, uh, Richard Sternberg, uh, who's an evolutionary biologist, took the equations of the Jordan and Schmidt paper um, from 2008 and he readjusted the, the math to say, okay, so we're dealing with more individuals and so on. And according to his math, it would take approximately 43.4 million years for, the, for a two-step coordinated mutation to occur. Given that you have four or five million years for the entire transition, uh, it just doesn't add up. And so there's a huge mathematical uh, hurdle that evolution has to circumvent. About 40 million years, huh? <laughs>